In this video, I'd like to uh, cover a topic that's uh, not very intuitive. If you've looked through Unitree documentation or around the web, you'll know that a low level control of Go1 is not always an easy thing to set up. Now you can do it directly on the Raspberry Pi in Go1, but ideally uh, you wanna have a, a development environment that is uh, easy to work with. So in this video, I'm going to cover how to do low level control with the legged SDK as well as Unitree ROS to Real uh, with a wired connection. And then in an upcoming video, we'll cover uh, doing this wirelessly over the network. So this is a very high level diagram. It's something I, I recreated uh, based off of Unitree's architecture diagram and just really helps me uh, gain a better understanding of what's going on. So I want to just show some example code from uh, the various repos and explain uh, how things work. So for high level, you'll notice here that uh, the control uses this IP. This is the Raspberry Pi IP 123.161. You'll notice it here. So when you're connected uh, to Go1 over the wireless network, uh, this will work just fine. High level control works uh, both with the legged SDK and with ROS to real. But let's take a look at the uh, low level example. This is a low level um, example that I believe, if I recall, moves the front right uh, joint, the calf joint of the Go1, and you'll notice this IP, right? This is both in the legged SDK as well as uh, Unitree ROS to real. So I uh, notice this 123.10, and if we look at the diagram on this side of the network, you'll see this MCU, which has this IP address. And so you know, visually, you can sort of see how when you're connected to the wireless network, unless you do some uh, routing, which I'll cover in a future video, you're not going to be able to access the MCU. So what we'll be doing in this video is connecting our PC uh, directly to Go1, which plugs us into the switch. Uh, we'll get an IP address. We'll have to do a little bit of a, a network configuration on Windows. I'm going to be running this on Windows as the host and then using Docker as um, the container to be able to run the code. As you probably know, it's uh, not possible to run ROS1 uh, on Windows. With that being said, uh, let's dive into this and see how it all works. So for this part of the demonstration, I wanna make sure that we get Go1 into a low level programming mode. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that. Then we're going to hang it on this rack because uh, the example requires uh, go one to be suspended in the air. So I'm gonna do L2 and A. So do these two together, do L2 and A again, and L2 and B. Now some people just do directly L2 and B, which sort of slams the robot to the ground. So I like to do that, that sequence to put it down gently. And then we're gonna do L1 and L2 together with the start button. You'll, you'll sort of hear it go idle and then you're able to now suspend it. So I'll go ahead and grab it. Okay, now with Go1 suspended, what I'm going to do is you'll notice that I've removed the cover plate on the rear of Go1. We're going to connect this Ethernet cable, which will go directly from my PC to Go1. What that does is allows the PC to connect to Go1's network over the wired connection. Let's take a quick a visual look at what's going on. So we have the PC physically connected to Go1 switch, but now we need to uh, configure it to uh, receive an IP address. So uh, we want to put it on this network. And what I'll do is I'll go into my Windows uh, network connections. For the ethernet adapter, we'll configure the IPv4 address. So I'm going to give it a static IP. We're going to use 192.168.123.162. Okay, so you might be wondering what that IP is represents. Uh, you'll notice here that the Pi is 161. We're just using 162. You could uh, statically assign something else in that range and then uh, leave the subnet mask the default. Then we're going to do 192.168. 123.1 for the gateway. I'll click OK. 
you'll see here, give it a few seconds to actually uh, connect to the network. And then as a quick test, I'm going to now see if I can ping this MCU. So I'll go to my terminal, we'll go 192.168.123.10. So everything is good there. Uh, the next step that I want to cover is I like to put together just a simple gist as I'm learning how to do stuff. And so I'm going to share this link beneath the video, but this sort of talks through now the software part of this setup. You may or may not be familiar with Docker, but uh, if you're not, please just do some reading on it. It'll make your life so much easier when it comes to doing some testing like this, especially with ROS. So I'm going to copy this command. This is a great a image that somebody put together allows us to access this through the browser. It has Ross Melodic and a lot of the dependencies already installed. So I'm going to uh, change the name here. You can call this whatever you want. Actually, that should be testing, but at this point it doesn't really matter. Okay, so what I'll do now is we'll go to localhost 6080. And so now we have this uh, nice instance that we can access through our browser. And I'm going to uh, do a few things. Now, all of this, once again, is in this gist. So uh, be sure to refer back to it. I'm going to set up the uh, cat can workspace. So just do this real quick with a source directory. And then I'm going to go into that directory. Okay, you see here that I'm going to clone version 3.8.0 of the legged SDK. Now uh, that's the most recent version compatible with Go1. So we'll go ahead and do that clone. And I'm also going to go ahead for now and clone the Unitree ROS to real. We'll get to that in a little bit, but it'll save me some keystrokes if I do it now. So I'm going to clone that. I don't want to clone the tagged version. We're just going to grab the latest for now. So now I'll go into the Unitree leg SDK. We'll go ahead and build it. Then we'll do make. So everything has been made and now what I'll be able to do is run uh, this example position to show how we can do low level control with the leg SDK. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what Go1 does. So I'll do the example position. It'll ask us to confirm. I'll hit enter to continue. We can see Go1 as well as uh, the output being echoed here to the screen. So that is a successful, a low level example with the wired connection. I'll do control C to stop, go back to the root of my workspace and then run cat can make that will build the Unitree ROS to real nodes. And this has a dependency on the legged SDK. So that's why I did that first. And uh, once this is done, we'll source the setup file. Okay, so that's going to allow us to launch the low-level node. So I'll do a ROS launch. And then we'll set the control level. You can actually set this to both high and low, but I'm doing low-level. And once again, once you're suspended, you know, on a rack or wired in um, via Ethernet, you don't want to be doing high-level control. You don't want to potentially uh, yank your computer off the desk. Okay, so this node is, is running. Now let's go ahead and run the example. So the way I need to do this is create a new window, do this source again, so we can recognize our project. And then I'm gonna do ROS run, unitary leg drill. And then this, this, this is another example of low level control, the example position with ROS. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. It's going to ask me to continue. Now we have the low level control. You can see the output here. 
So everything is looking good. And then of course I can control C and then exit. So once again, all of that can be found in this gist. And I'll also put a link to the architecture diagram below. I think that could be really helpful, but to summarize, this low level control allowed us to go through and then access the various joints. So in the future, I'll be able to uh, share this wireless configuration, but for now, a uh, wired is great, simplifies things when you wanna do a uh, low level testing from your development environment. I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to leave a question or comment below and until next time, thanks for watching.